Okay, the first thing I want to talk about. Hey guys, Madison here. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison and today we are going over November makeup releases that I just don't like. So we're gonna dig in. Also, I'm gonna be kind of eating, so you're gonna see a little portion of that. But it's not like a mukbang, but I'm just gonna be eating and discussing makeup that I don't like. Something that I do wanna like, say that I do like, are these little Starburst like water fizzy drink things. And like, they're so good. They taste like Starburst. I have the pink one and the blue one. I tried the blue one first and I loved it. So I got the pink one and they're only a dollar. They're at Walmart, they're good. And yeah, so it's not sponsored, but I just wanted to like, talk about the thing that I'm gonna be drinking in my water. But yeah, we absolutely adore these. Now into the actual makeup. Okay, I lied, you're gonna see a little bit more food because I need to pepper my little mini lasagna thing. Oh my God, these are so good. I don't even understand, I can't comprehend. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about, Huda Beauty. I have to say that really slow because if I don't, I just sound stupid saying that. Either way, they are releasing in Sephora, the new Naughty Nude Palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. People have talked about it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Like, I can't, I can't justify getting it. I don't like nudes. That's just a fun fact about me. And if I do get a new palette, it has to have like some extra oomph because, and I know it's not true. And you do you if you love nude palettes, but they all just look the same to me. Like it has to really stand out. This just does not do it for me. Like it has some cool like palette colors, but if I didn't see the swatches and I just saw the palette, like I'd understand getting it because it has like those cool little marble effects. And then it has that one shade that is so weird and textured that it's like, it's gross. Like it looks like, sometimes I look at it and it's like pomegranate almost. That's what it looks like. It's just so weird and I don't like it. But when you look at the actual swatch of it, it's just not that unique of a color. Like, I looked at it and I just can't justify it. I don't understand. It just is not it. Like, it's just not for me. It's not my favorite thing in the world and I just don't really want it. So then we move on. You know, uh, Patrick Star, his one size uh, makeup brand that released some powder. I don't hate it, but I wanted to talk about it. I don't like it either. It's just powder. Powder is powder to me. Um, I'm still waiting for like something epic to come from that brand um, and I just haven't haven't seen it yet but I am excited for when it comes out so the next thing is the milk cosmetics Beetlejuice collection I don't know if this was meant to be like a Halloween launch and it just got released a little bit later I'm just not vibing with it I will admit that this is a good color scheme for it you know like I'm not hating the eyeshadow palettes because like the color story is stupid I just I don't want it maybe if this would have released earlier in October I would have been like yeah like it would have been you know fighting for a place with the uh, ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection it's like it's there the potential is there I just I'm not really vibing with it I think it's like got some lipsticks the two eyeshadow palettes if I had to be honest it's more of just because it's colors I don't think I'd necessarily wear and then the palette would just go to waste and I hate doing that but the little red palette that's down here I think I would probably vibe more with that they have a mascara and then these I don't know if they're okay gel liners I'm kind of vibing with the weird green yellow but other than like the gray and the blue I just don't know I don't know about this collection so it's not I absolutely hate it it's trash it's just a weird collection like it's just I don't know about it and maybe it's because it was just a weird timing but we're gonna keep going let's see what we else we got it wasn't as bad as October where I was like I absolutely hate this I think I have more this time that I like that got released than dislike a lot of it's just a lot of nudes <sighs> okay so the Jeffree Star Blood Money collection now this is kind of a torn place however you feel about Jeffree Star you love him you hate him I don't care I'm literally looking at the makeup now again like I've said in the October anti-haul where you know, his collection was in there too I just <laughs> it's like I think anything after the purple collection I just 
didn't vibe with like the cremated the one that I can't say like the one that was just all nudes I just I didn't vibe with those I didn't really like them maybe it's because they were just those colors that I don't use a lot but my favorite color is green and I I still just ain't vibing like I like the little mint color I like the actual bright green I like the weird dark green that kind of looks blue and then I like the shimmery green and then like if I'm being honest there's one two three it's a blue green but I guess we'll call it green four four greens a bunch of nudes maybe this is, could be a green maybe it's maybe it's more so it's one two three four and then five if you want to call that gray green a green and then you know you got the blue you got the grays you got the red and then the gold and stuff but it's just like if I want a green palette I want a green palette and it's just, just not it for me I it's just not it for me and I hate that but it's just not it and then even like the lipsticks there's a lot more nudes some silver some gray I think there are two greens maybe three the color I don't I'm not seeing them on skin so I don't know what they actually look like outside the bottle the highlighters highlighters you know um, let's see if there's any closer up look at the actual things um, I'm just seeing swatches okay wait for the swatches on the eyeshadow on the on the actual hand I'm gonna include this picture because I know what I said that it didn't look green but here's the actual look of it there's one that's a dark green when it's kind of a weird muted green the bright green which I do like lime green and I guess maybe that's the mint so five I don't qualify the teal as a green that's more of a blue another blue there's that shimmery green and then the one that I thought was maybe a gold color is actually a kind of weird green so there is a lot more greens I will take that back I take it back we we love growth and improvement so there is a lot more greens in this they just don't really look it so that's why we like to have swatches because if I just looked at the palette, I'd hate it because it did not look green. So there's a lot more greens, but even then, I don't know. I just can't bring myself to pay $52 for it. And that's just me. The whole little case is kind of cute. I do like the case. Uh, it has a little mirror in it. We love that. But it's just like, I can't, I can't think of looks I could create with this. Like maybe that's just, I'm not trying to find just something wrong with it. This is just my personal opinions as to why I will not be buying this. But it's like, I just can't, I don't know. I'm just not vibing with it anymore. The highlighters. Okay, that's for the lips. Mm, okay, there's three greens. Maybe four if you want to count the brown green. Um, but there's red, orange, the gray. I think I like the gray more than I like the green. And again, my favorite color is green. I'm all for things that are green. I was probably the most excited for this palette like a year ago. Whenever they were like, ooh, imagine if you did a Blood Money as an all green palette. But it's just like, I don't know like I guess it's, it's a good scheme if like like a color scheme <laughs> not a pyramid scheme if this is something you were looking forward to and you like just vibing with it I don't know it's like if I imagined somebody releasing an all green collection I kind of just think of the ColourPop one where it has I'll like include the picture here but it's just like the mints and the green there's so much green and like that's just what I'm thinking of and I understand these are like transition states and stuff and I spent a lot of time on this one palette so we're gonna move along but no I won't be getting it it's too much even for that now the Kylie holiday collection it looks and you know if you're a Kylie fan I'm sorry I'm not like bashing her brand but I've never really been attracted to any of the palettes or any of the makeup just it all looks the same literally the same same packaging all the time i understand it's different no it, it's literally the same it's just what it looks like to me i guess my own opinion now if i had to make a palette out of this i could i like the glitter shades i only like the glitter shades i don't care for the other little neutral colors i don't like them i don't want only one of the glitter and i would be okay with that that would make me buy a kylie collection um, or at least an eyeshadow, not the entire collection. That's, that's too much money. This is also from the perspective of, you know, a broke college student as well. It's like, I have to really think about the uh, things I spend my money on. Now this, 
I have never heard or like purchased. I don't really know much about this brand, so I'm not bashing it. I just don't, I'm, I'm ignorant on it. So it could be like the most amazing brand in the world, but the Wayne Goss Cosmetics, what is this palette? Literally two, and I know they're not, they're not the same thing. Two of these colors look exactly the same to me. They look exactly the same. Maybe one's a little bit darker, but it's literally gray, gray, gray. There's three grays and then the black, a little pink, and then that blue. That blue looks absolutely beautiful. Do not get me wrong, but I would rather pay for that one color that I want out of this entire eyeshadow. And if they put it in some more light, it does look different. There are two different grays, but literally those two grays that are right there, one just looks like the shimmery version of it. And let's see, maybe there's a swatch. Maybe the swatches look so much better. There's no swatches. So I'm just gonna say no, no to all. So this is another Huda Beauty um, palette. I don't, mm, it's just not my vibe. Like something about it's throwing me off. Maybe it's the way the colors are set up. I don't know, but I just, I don't like it. It's the gold palette. I'm just not really into the golds. I'm not vibing with it. And I feel like if you're already is it celebrating five years of cult beauty. So it's part of the holiday collection, I guess. I'm very confused. Some makeup things just confuse me. Now it does look pretty on the skin. I'll give it that, but it's just like, I can't justify it. I already have these colors. And that's like majority of the time whenever I'm like bashing makeup, it's cause I mostly have all, I already have these colors. So it's like, why would I buy more of what I already have? Um, <laughs> you know, I'm seeing more than I like. And honestly, I'm probably like, just the most basic person with the collections that I am excited for because nobody else is excited for those collaborations except me. Um, I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay, this is the Disney collaboration with Catrice and Essence. I've tried a little bit of Essence stuff. I think I tried like their primer. I don't really have a problem with the brand itself. I've never tried their eyeshadow palettes. So again, they might be beautiful, but I hate what they did. So they had, it's another Disney collaboration. They are pumping out so much Disney makeup that it's insane. So they have the princesses, they have an Ariel one. That seems on brand. Again, I'm not a nude person, so it's just not necessarily something I want. They have the Snow White and the little pops of color in each is like kind of on brand for the princess. So I'm like, okay, I'm vibing with it. I'm vibing with it. And they have the Sleeping Beauty. These are pretty, they're cute. Again, not for me, I'm not a nude person. And then you get to the evil queen part and it's like, excuse me, no. Like that is not what those people would wear. I'm imagining dark, I'm imagining evil colors. Like, does that make sense? Like I'm not imagining, <laughs> like this looks like Snow White almost, I don't know. It's just not a vibe. And then every one of them, it's like, just some kind of nude. And it's like, they would not wear that. They would never wear that. <sighs> and I don't know what makes me more mad. It's like Ursula's. Cause it's like, you look at Ursula's like dark, like makeup look, the evil makeup look. And then I'm like, I could never, she would never. And then you see her like putting on the red clam lipstick. And then you see like her lipstick duo is a nude. Are you kidding me? She would never wear a nude lip. It's crazy. But um, yeah, I'm mad about that one. It seems like a stupid thing to be mad about, but I'm mad about it. This ugly, like this is probably the one time I will be mean. I do not like it. I do not like it. You cannot make me like it. And I probably will never like it. But if you like it, good for you. Like, I'm not gonna bash anyone who wants it or wants to go buy it, but this Kylie X Grinch eyeshadow palette, I hate it. I hate the colors that were picked. I hate everything about it. I don't know why. I can't give you a logical reason as to why I hate it. I don't hate Kylie. I don't know Kylie. I don't really, I think I have one lipstick that I don't, it's not that bad of a lipstick. So I don't hate the brand but I do not like this. Maybe it's the lime green all around it. It's just not pleasing to look at. And when I say, when I see it, I see red. It's like, I just, you know, I don't understand. It's like all these winter collections that are coming out don't look like a winter collection. You know, like as we saw with the, the Morphe winter collection that's coming out, it looks like Valentine's Day. Like it just doesn't look right. 
but yeah that's just something I am not excited for I did not like seeing that pop up in my feed and then the uh the lipsticks for it are literally just nude or they're lip glosses but it's just nude lip glosses because the world needs another nude lipstick so I don't know who it's by I've been looking off to probably look in my own time and just like write it here but it is a dirty dancing collection um I just I get a weird vibe from it like the little sponge is kind of cute it has a little imprint of them like doing the lift but like I don't know the palette reminds me especially with the little lip gloss right there of like the Ulta Beauty like winter collections like it has just a weird array like a weird color palette I mean, it's just like you know I don't want to say this because I feel like it's offensive and this might be amazing quality it might be beautiful I don't the uh this is $38 though so $38 it just looks like a Claire's makeup eyeshadow kit or whatever because it also has that little built-in lip gloss and it's just like I can't I can't justify it and I just probably won't use the pick oh. <laughs> probably won't use like all of those shadows and I have no idea what the payoff might look like but it also has a really tiny mirror to the side and has the girl like sitting there that is tragic let's see what the swatches look like now these look really cute but my thing is is it kind of looks a little sus you can always tell which which shadows look a little sus when they're put on and it's like some of them are really thick and then they get like thin i don't know it's weird um and then they show they, mm, anyway so they showed them again on a darker skin complexion which good i'm glad we love that um but yeah i just i don't like it i just it does not look 38 dollars worth i'll be honest that's just my little hot take but it may be great you may love it and last what came out is the ysl beauty it is their spring palette i think spring 21 is when it's coming out it looks like every other eyeshadow palette being released right now and i just i just can't and it's got a bunch of lipsticks it's just not a whole lot of new i haven't been i've said this previous i haven't really been excited for a makeup launch in a while there is one i am excited for i'm gonna put that on the next video but it's like i haven't i can't justify it and my roommate's talking really loud um but yeah anyway if you stuck around this long that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching all my social media link down below i love connecting with you guys on all different forms of social media and i upload every wednesday and friday and i'll see you all next time